being a graduate of the Tswani University of Technology, I believe that strength of character and the search for opportunities are the products of initiative and innovation. I will therefore always strive to be outstanding rather than mediocre. I have learned to be resourceful and creative. I will with enthusiasm grasp and use all the opportunities I encounter. Being a true graduate, I will always consider the challenge to be greater than the risk. My independence and my self-respect are my pride and honor. My knowledge is my strength and my skill is my security. I will not bow down before anyone nor flee from any risk. My education and my abilities will enable me to stand proud and tall, unafraid of the future and with strength and independence to think for myself and to act on my own, to enjoy the fruits of my initiative and to serve my country with pride. This is what it means to be a graduate of the Tswane University of Technology. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me as Chancellor, I hereby declare this gathering to be a lawful congregation of the Tswane University of Technology. Greetings to our graduates, parents, families and friends. On behalf of the Chancellor, Dr. Gwen Ramakopa, the University Council Chairperson, Mr. Tilson Manioni, and the entire vibrant family, TUT staff and students. Welcome to the Tswane University of Technology first ever virtual graduation ceremony. Thank you for sharing this special event with us. As is the case in many parts of the world, South Africans are currently experiencing a state of national lockdown that came into effect at midnight Thursday 26 March 2020 to curb the spreading of the COVID-19 virus. This unfortunately resulted in the cancellation of TUT's autumn graduation ceremonies. Today, I will award qualifications on close to 12,000 students in absentia on behalf of the TUT Chancellor, Dr. Gwen Ramakopa. We understand the importance of celebrating this milestone with your parents, loved ones, family and friends. Over the years, the university has expanded tremendously. We witness a tremendous growth in our students' numbers, the upgrading of our laboratories to enable us to conduct world-class research. The work we've done over the years is now standing us in good stead towards implementing effective multimodal remote learning, which include digital, analog and physical delivery of teaching and learning materials to provide our students a reasonable level of academic support at all locations to resume academic uh, teaching and learning. Today, we stand tall amongst our peers having become a beacon of hope and future prosperity to the thousands of people who look at us. Our global footprint speaks for itself and our achievements have certainly not gone unnoticed, with TUT once again being recognized amongst the leading universities in the world. Only last week it was announced that 13 of South Africa's 26 public universities made it into the top 2,000 best universities in the world, according to the latest uh, results of the Center for World University Rankings for 2020 and 2021. A duty qualification is a powerful tool. It has paved the way for many successful people. You too, if you use the knowledge and skills that you have acquired at TUT in an innovative, creative and responsible manner, you will definitely be successful. Go all out there to make a difference in your life and in the lives of others. Serve South Africa and the world at large with distinction. 
you were given the academic tools to reach the top. But when you reach the top, you have the responsibility to reach out and pull up those who are left behind. As I conclude, I would like to encourage you to, f to aspire to be a social responsible citizen in South Africa, to make a difference where you work and where you will live. We're also uh, looking forward to welcome you back to enroll for higher qualifications. Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, a final word to our graduates. Again, congratulations. We as management and the communities at, at large know that you will do us proud. I sincerely thank you. Greetings to our graduates. You have now complied with all the academic requirements for the awarding and confirmation of your qualifications. Your qualification is a vital tool that will pave the way for you to progress in your careers. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the implementation of a nationwide lockdown, the university management took a decision to cancel the 2020 autumn on-campus graduation ceremonies. Considering that public gatherings are currently not permitted, the awarding and confirmation of qualifications will be virtually done. Names of graduates will be listed according to original graduation ceremony dates. Graduations are life-changing milestones and graduates look forward to a graduation day. We understand the significance of receiving your qualifications in person, in the presence of your loved ones. In view of this, the university will accommodate you during on campus, future on-campus graduation ceremonies, thereby affording you the opportunity to walk across the stage and celebrate your achievement with your families once the situation is normalized. This will offer you an opportunity to experience elements of a traditional graduation ceremony. We look forward to a time when you and your loved ones can celebrate during a conventional graduation ceremony. Greetings uh, to the Vice-Chancellor, the Registrar, the Chancellor, the Deans of TUT, parents, staff and virtuosic students of TUT. My name is Rifilwe Lepere and I am an artist, activist and a lecturer in the Performing Arts Department. I'm also a theatre maker, a playwright. So thank you so much to the generous organisers for this virtual graduation, right? So what you have done for us is created a space, a moment, a moment to breathe when all that is going on in the world has kind of made some of us feel less than human. And it's been hard, right? It's been quite hard. But what you have created is a moment to pause, to reflect, and most importantly, to hope that since some of us still have breath in our bodies, we can dream of possibilities and we can have a reprieve from the hellscape that is the world right now. So why am I here? I come to celebrate. I come to celebrate your successes. I come to celebrate your unforgettable memories that you have created in your time of being at Tswane University of Technology. And I'm here also to help you look forward. Even though that forward looking is quite filled with uncertainty and all sorts of surprises and things that we're all fearful of. But right now, I am wondering and thinking with you how we can think about what will the future hold. We all know that as our mothers have said and in different parts of our lives that education is the key to success. But more importantly, what education has done for all of us, for me especially, it has been something to recount the world, to analyze the world and imagine a different one. So through all your readings, through all your time of being here, through all the activities, homeworks, sleepless nights, binge watching something, being with friends, what, we, what you have been offered is a moment to sit, to reflect, to nurture, and to imagine a new world. So I'm grateful that you participated, that you were part of those classes. 
I am grateful for all the participation you've done, the generosity of spirits of coming into classes and showing up, for your passion, the work, and wonderful work that you've created in the time that you spend at TUT. Congratulations, you did it, you made it. You're showing everybody that it can be done. You did it, it is done. Remember, the radical things that are made in the world are always made in the small spaces. They're always made in those times of upheavals. Thank you. We will now proceed to issue diplomas and to confer degrees on the candidates whose name appear on the program, who according to the academic standards of the Tswane University of Technology, possess the fullness of knowledge and quality and skills to pursue their specific careers successfully.
the powers vested in me, I hereby dissolve this congregation of the Tswane University of Technology. <laughs>